It is time once again for a haul video. And as you know, my hauls are go big or go home. As you guys know, I run an eBay store. You can click up here to check it out. I'm so, so grateful that it's become an actual viable business. I'm still learning how to be good with money when it comes to a business, but it is still super duper fun. And I ended up with um, a lot of LPS. I have six packages to show you guys in this video, big and small. This one is like insane. I'll talk more on this when I get to it. There are going to be a lot of LPS in this video. I'm going to guess anywhere from 500, 550-ish. I know a lot of you guys love LPS hauls and a lot of you also live vicariously through them. That's a mood. So I'm very happy to indulge your guys' interests. If you're curious about the outfit change, that is because it is time for some winter holiday outfits. It's my favorite time of the year when I get to put this outfit on and shout out to the fan who crocheted this scarf for me. So, so sweet. I made sure to buy a whole bunch of pets because I'm going to be doing a huge winter sale and overall holiday themed listing. So I ordered a bunch of cookies. I got a lot of candy canes. I also have some present boxes that are coming in. By the time this video comes out, I'll have a lot of these listed. Probably not all of them because there's a lot. So if you're excited for the holiday season, that is definitely something to be excited for. Anyway, I'm talking too much and I know you guys are here for the LPS. So uh, let's get punched off the screen now and uh, yeah, bye. Here is the first package I'm gonna show you guys. This is from LPS Queen. Many of you guys know them for their amazing LPS shop. I love them so, so much. This package actually contains a bunch of McDonald's pets and I thought it would be cool to take some more off of their stands and offer them to you guys. It's time to rip open this package and see what's inside. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Heck yes, these are so, so cute and they give me so much nostalgia. I don't know about you guys. Anyway, I'll just show you these pets and give you a roundup of the most interesting ones. favorites roundup. Um, this guy is not my favorite. In fact, I hate him. I'm so sorry people who stand uh, whoever this guy is from the LPS TV show. I will not be selling him. I can't bring myself to do that to you guys. Now for the ones I think are actually cute. So I have this one. He's super cute. I don't have him and I love him. We have a froggy and a little lizard, although he gives me more like salamander vibes. Something I love about the McDonald's pets is that they kind of have some variations in the molds. So for instance, we have this guy, his body is all glued together. And lastly, I have this one and oh my gosh, she is so cute. I am pretty sure this is the exact pet that I absolutely maimed and turned into maggot. Um, we don't talk about that. I love the pastel colors and her face is honestly super cute. I usually don't really care about these, but this one is it. Next up, I'm gonna share what's inside this little baggie and this giant box. Now, this box is pretty ginormous, but these are both pretty light, so I imagine there's probably like 15-ish pets in both of these. I don't really remember exactly what is in these packages, so it's as much of a surprise to me as it is for you. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road! Alright, time for a roundup, so 
Who is this woman? I don't know, you guys. Like, why does she have red demon eyes? Why is her body the shape of a squiggly line? She is super heavy. I don't know. You guys, so weird. I got these two cute little squirrels, and, you know, this guy has had better days, but, you know, I don't think I actually have this one, and I really, really wanted this. So, super cute. I've also got some bears, so we have these two panda bears. I think they are so, so cute. We've also got this polar bear, the glitter one. I love him so much. And speaking of glitter pets, we've got the ant eater. Aw, oh, yeah. I actually have a display of all of my G2 glitter pets. I love them so, so much. They're so cute. I don't have the ant eater, so I'm really excited to add him to my collection. And finally, for some big five pets, we've got this amazing collie who is screaming from the depths of his soul. I also ended up with this dachshund and this short hair. They are both super cute and in really great condition too, which is nice. Super, super happy with these and yeah, let's move on. So far, this haul has been going by fast, but not for long. Here is our next package. In comparison to the last box, this one is a little smaller, but it's a lot heavier. So I imagine there's lots more pets in here. So let's check this one out. Um, heck yes. Okay, I have a few favorites from this haul. I've got a little ferret. I love the brown coloring. He looks so cute. We have this little doggy, and oh my gosh, her colors are so super saturated. I don't know what set this came from, but I don't have her in my collection, and I just think the colors are awesome. We've also got this pug, a German Shepherd, and this little kitty cat. I don't know what it is about these three, but they just caught my eye. I don't have any of them in my collection, so I'm really happy to add them. I love the little gradient here. The colors on both of these are super cute. And also, I just really like the little pink floof of hair, even though uh, hairy LPS are a little ugly. And finally, we've got some big five pets. I'm really excited for this. So first of all, we've got Jenny. She is so nice, perfect condition. Love, love, love this. I've also got three short hairs. So I've got this one, which I already have. And then, oh my God, you guys, I've got this one, which I've wanted for so, so long. I love the Calico cats, and I just think that this particular mold with the head is so, so unique. There's not very many pets like this. And also, holy cow, who is this girl? I might be wrong, but I think this is like some sort of special edition pet, or she's just not a very common one. I totally forgot this one existed, and I wasn't expecting to see her, so I'm really, really happy about this. She's got this beautiful gradient on her ears. So, so cute. Now, the tough thing about this haul is that a lot of them have markings on the bottom, like she did not get a break. But luckily, it's actually a pretty easy fix. All you have to do is add like some acne cream, benzoyl peroxide on this, leave it out in the sun for a day or two, and then it'll wash right off. If you want to know more about this method, click up here because I have a whole video about it. Okay, so far so good. This haul has been pretty modest compared to my other ones. Well, not anymore because we've got this behemoth. To my knowledge, there are well over a hundred pets and just feeling in here, there's like, there's like some solid thing. It feels like a book almost. Oh, what the heck? Oh no way! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I forgot that there were accessories and I did not expect to get a whole organizer. This is so helpful, oh my gosh. And here are the pets, this is a whole collection. Okay, I am getting so excited now, so let's get started! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> 
before I talk about what just happened, I thought I'd share some of my favorites. We've got this little mouse. I think he is super cute with his blush. We've got a pet triplet piglet. Oh my gosh. There were a lot of these G5 corgis and I think this one's probably my favorite, but this one is also really up there. It's super cool. We also have this lion, which I believe he came with the thirsty pets and I really, really wanted him. And then we also got this guy. I was like, is this a custom? No, it's a husky with heterochrome. This is so cool. And then finally, we've got this little alligator. He's got a lot of glitter on that, so I'm gonna have to decide if I want to keep that on or not. But I do think the design is really, really cool. I love all of these like really intricately patterned pets. And now uh, we gotta, I, I gotta talk to you guys. When I originally saw this listing, I saw a lot of big five pets, like a suspicious amount. But there was only one picture and that was of the whole lot and I couldn't really determine if the pets were fake or not. I had a feeling that some of them were, but surely if there were so many, at least one of them has to be real, right? Wrong. There are so many big five pets and all of them are fake. I'm just, I'm gonna start crying, you guys. I forgot that I got this lot and I saw this girl poking out and I was like, ah! because she is so expensive. And I was like, yeah, some of these have to be fake, but surely this one could be real because we've also got this man who comes with the original playset that she's in. Um, but no. We've also got a whole bunch more short hairs. So we've got this girl, this lady, who a lot of you guys really like, and this girl. All of them are fake. We've got Dachshund number one, two, and three. All of them are fake. When I saw this guy, I was like, okay, this guy has to be real because I saw this little imperfection here and that's really common with this pet. But no, we have this girl and I assumed she was fake. Her neck plug is completely worn out and like rusty. After taking a feel of it a little more, I think this one might actually be authentic. I'm going to double check because I do have this pet, but I do think that the peg is clear. It's just really rusty. And then she's also got this magnet. I never list pets that I'm not 100% sure are real. So if you see her, then you'll know. If you don't see her, you'll know what happened. Next up, we've got a bunch of Great Danes. So we've got this man looking a little derpy. I guess that's a telltale sign. We've also got two of these boys and this guy. And honestly, I was hoping this one would be real because I love the design here, but it's not, so. We've got some Cocker Spaniels, so we have this girl, this girl, and these two. I was really hoping that this one would be real because I've wanted this pet for so, so long. Next up, we have Collie's Birthday, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. You know, now that I'm seeing how many big five pets are here, I don't know how I thought that any of these would be real. This is a pretty well-rounded collection besides all of those, so I was at least hoping. Um, but yeah, we've got this dude and I'm like, what? I had no idea they made a fake of this chihuahua, but he totally is. He has like this stupid printing on here. His head is hard as a rock. And as you can see, his head is in such a weird shape. It makes it look like his eyes are bulging out of his head. So yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment. That all being said, there was one fake pet that I am keeping that I think is super adorable and it's this one. It's a little puppy version of this collie. And I do think that this one is super, super cute. And I don't really mind that it's fake because it's one of those custom LPS. So that's really cool. We've also got some customs and they're actually really cute. So we've got a Great Dane, this short hair, and this Cocker Spaniel. I think all of these are really cute and well done. I'm kind of sad that I got a whole bunch of fakes. I was hoping that at least a few of them would be real, but honestly, I'm not super sad about it. Although I can't sell these as like 100% real LPS, I do have a ton of custom bases now. Now, this is a surprise. In this bag, there's also a bonus pet? What the heck? LPS fan mail in my haul? What is this girl? Oh my 
my goodness. Oh, this is really sweet of them. They included a bonus short hair. She's fake as well, so that kind of sucks, but I do appreciate the gesture and the presentation. That's something that I definitely was not expecting. And now let's move on to the accessories. Oh my God, these accessories, you guys. This completely makes up for all of the fake LPS because holy cow, there are so many Sylvanian families, calico critters. There are full dinner sets. I wanted stuff like this for so long. And like these little clear cups, I wanted something like this for a long time. There's also a whole bunch of cute food, some of which I'm gonna keep and then others I can use for listings. We got these mini Crayola markers. We've got like a whole like sandwich tray. There's a funny pancake maker. It's so there's also a ton of clothes for LPS. This is super, super cool. Last but not least, I just want to talk about this little thing. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. And it's also really useful to have an organizer like this. I already have all of my accessories organized, but I can use this for my most used ones. It'll be a little more motivating to dress up my sets more often if I have them a little closer to hand. So this is super, super amazing. All right, you guys, we still have a big chunk of the video left, but we only have one package left. It is this behemoth. Oh my gosh. This is almost 10 pounds of LPS. It's definitely doing a number on my shelf right now. There are about 350 LPS in here. This is someone's entire collection right here. I am both excited and terrified to open this one and share all these pets with you because this is the single biggest package I have ever gotten of LPS in my life. So yeah, I'm opening this up now and all you guys have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Here's just a preview. Oh my goodness.
showcase first of all I just want to share maybe you've noticed but some of these pets have had better days I normally associate oil spills with little ducklings but apparently it can happen to monkeys too I cannot believe this <laughs> why who chewed this up I really hope it was a dog and not a child we have some dudes with interesting hair so we have this little man I like him and then we have this man and for a second I was like heck yeah this dude's cool and then I realized half of his little hairs are ripped out so first of all this dude I think this guy was like permanently stuck into a fishbowl the reason why I say this is because um, I don't know what happened here, but it looked like he got ripped out of something. I've got these two lovely ladies and also this little postcard dog. I don't know, I just really like how they look and again, postcard pets are super cute. I have this seal. He's looking up into the heavens. Wondering when all this pain will end. Here are some more pets who I thought had really cool colors. And then we have a baby monkey! So there are a bunch of Big Five pets. Most of them are real and I'm really excited about some of them, but unfortunately some of them are fake. But we've got this Great Dane, another one of Tom Dawson, we've got one, two, three short hairs. We've got this Dachshund, I believe she's 909. I was really hoping that this pet would be real, I mean, I'm not surprised because this guy is exceedingly rare. I think I might just keep this guy for a while since he looks really cool, but it is a little bit of a shame. And now for the ones that I have confirmed are real. So we've got one Dachshund, she's super super cute, and then we've got two Copper Spaniels. Um, we've got this one, and you guys won't believe it, I got my dream girl! Alright, so the rest of these are kitty cats, but we've got two Siamese cats. Look at them. They are lovers. <laughs> They're lovers. We have two Brooklyn. So this one I'm not super sure if it's real, but I'm gonna double check. And then we've got this one. These next three I have this first one. Um, we've also got Sugar Diamond and this fabulous girl. I'm gonna clean this one up to the best of my ability as I'm going to do with all of the really dirty ones. If all doesn't go super well though, I may end up using her as a custom base. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, um, but yeah, this is kind of disgusting. And finally, the last three that I had to show you, these are the final three pets. We have this one who I believe is like the video game exclusive short hair, so this is super cute. And we've also got this one, she's a little dirty, a little mucky, but I love her. And finally, we have this girl! I've always really wanted this one. It looks like she had pink ears at one point, but it got painted off. This one is adorable. I love her so much and yeah, finally done with the haul you guys. So here's how the LPS pile part one is looking. This is all just from that last package I just showed you, but we also have two boxes. This one is of the rest of the pets and then I separated the fakes too. And now, well, I've got a lot of better things to do with my time. I have videos to edit, but I guess I'm going to subject myself to the excruciating but satisfying pain of organizing every single one of these. Wish me luck. Five million years later. Oh my god. So here are all of the LPS 
from this haul all together. So these are all of the authentic pets. I separated the fakes and we've also got the McDonald's pets over here. There are a few right here like the minis and the customs but I don't really count those as part of my collection. And also um, I'm sending this man to a donation center. Someone else can deal with him. In all there are 546 LPS. That is insane to me and like this was a tough job getting all of these together. Um, there are a lot of really interesting sets of doubles. For instance, we have six of the same squirrel and we also have five of the same seal. Oh yeah, and we have six of the same rabbit. I will be back to share with you the pets that I'm keeping for my collection and which are going to go to a new and better home. See you soon. Ah! Here are all of the pets that are being added into my collection. This is a total of 110 pets. I am really, really happy with the results of this haul. I ended up getting a lot of LPS that I really really wanted including this girl and this little guy and just in general I caught so many new short hairs and I'm really really happy about that. I also ended up with a lot of G5s which I really enjoy because I love G5. Seriously you guys these corgis are to die for. I'm very very happy about this and I'm also very happy to have a whole box of pets that I'm going to be cleaning up. Some of them I'll be customizing and eventually all of these are going to end up on my eBay store into the hands of one of you guys, I hope. These aren't all going to be listed at the same time. That's just, that's too much work for me. But I will be continually adding new pets over the next month. So if you saw any pets that were interesting to you, then stick around because you might see them on my store. Okie dokie, I am tired. This took so long to film. I started this at like eight and it's like three now. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, Friday, Wednesday, whatever day you're watching this. Since we're kicking off the holiday season, feel free to let me know in the comments what you're most excited for about the holidays. I love you guys so, so much. You are all amazing. I hope you all have a wonderful day and yeah, bye.